what's up you guys time is back with another incense video and man uh what a beautiful day here in wisconsin it's about 50 degrees right now you know the last few days it's been pretty nippy and you know the week before that it was just so nice then the week after it's nippy and now it's starting to get nice again that's the beauty of living in wisconsin man if you are a frag head and you live somewhere in the midwest you can literally use four different fragrances in one day you can use your spring you can use your summer you can use your winter you can use your fall all in one day because wisconsin there are days when we will literally get four seasons in one day man but uh enough with that man again i just want to thank you guys for commenting and subscribing um uh, man it's honestly it's a pleasure um whenever i can recommend a fragrance or be of some kind of assistance when you guys have fragrance questions. Um, man, like, you know, whenever I suggest a fragrance and then you guys go out there and buy it and you say, man, I bought this off your recommendation. Honest, man, it's it's not about, you know, trying to know every single note. It's not being a fragrance guru. It's just knowing what smells good. And man, the fragrances that I really, really love and that I'll recommend it's because I really, really, really love the way they smell, okay? I'm not just going to try to overhype anything like that. Uh, but with that being said, there is a fragrance that I purchased. It might have been about eight months ago from the House of Swiss Arabia. And I actually did a uh, first impressions on this uh, fragrance. Um, at the time, I think I bought like four different fragrances from the house. And at the time, out of the four, this was my least favorite okay there was something in it that kind of made me not really enjoy it that much it wasn't that i hated it um i didn't like it uh, but it had this smell and this was before i really you know started researching what certain notes smell like okay this was before all that you know i would just go smell stuff you know i'd read what a note says and that's it but i wouldn't actually research what certain notes actually smell like because if you actually read up on some of these things, like you actually go on Google and say, hey, what does geranium smell like, okay? Sometimes there's things that's, that, you know, when you look at a picture on Fragranica and it's like a picture of a flower, you think, oh man, it's gonna smell just florally. But some of these flowers have different notes in them. They have different smells. So you gotta be on the, um, you gotta be able to look at those and, you know, research some of these notes. It's actually pretty cool to read about some of these notes. Uh, but this one, okay, now the note breakdown on this one at the top we got white florals we got lily of the valley and some herbal notes in the middle we got rose hyacinth and we got pepper cumin and geranium and at the base we got oud musk and amber okay the fragrance i'm talking about again swiss arabian that is this Awasim. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that correct. Awasim. I decided to rock this just because I got these red colors on right now and this red hat. Uh, but I decided to go with this one um, just because, um, you know, the bottle, like, I mean, if you look at it from a different angle, it kind of looks red, kind of orange. So I went with these colors today as well. Um, so that's why I chose this bottle today. Okay. Now, again, the first time I've smelled this, I really wasn't a big fan of it. Okay. It kind of if I'm not mistaken, I believe me and the wife, he actually said it kind of smelled like plasticky, almost like a plastic dial, one of those dials back in the day, okay? But man, let me tell you something. I haven't wore this since then, okay? I didn't even wear it that day. It was just a quick spray on the hand. I really didn't like it. I finally wore it today. And let me tell you something, you guys. If you want a nice floral, slightly spicy, a little bit of wood at the end it's a nice smooth woodiness at the end this fragrance is a beauty okay this is great for any type of weather over 55 60 degrees okay when you're pushing along that it's gonna be great for that those florals in the opening are just so amazing you guys I'm gonna waste the spray real quick I actually got a dry down over here this is where I'm getting all that like soft spicy woodiness over here but man when you first spray this Again, at the time, I just thought it smelled kind of like plasticky, almost kind of like a rubber plastic dial or something like that. One of those old plastic dials back in the day, a cabbage patch dial, if you will. But man, 
but I smell this again. You almost get this slight bitterness, which maybe that was the reason why I wasn't liking it. And maybe I was, you know, looking at, thinking of that bitterness and I was like, man, I don't like this. But man, the florals, the sweet, crisp, fresh, the florals in here, then you add just a touch of this bitterness in this fragrance. This stuff, you guys, is very nice. It is a unisex fragrance. Women, you can wear this one too. Men, this is great for you guys, especially if you guys are into the florals. You will definitely like this fragrance because it's nice floral. A lot of florals, sometimes they scream unisex and sometimes they lean a little bit more towards the feminine side. This, I believe, is slightly more masculine than the feminine side, okay? This stuff right here, man, those florals. It's like you stepped in a garden a little bit, okay? You got a little bit of spiciness from that cumin. It kind of adds this smoky spiciness as well. But you guys, man, I hated this fragrance. The first time I smelled it, well, not hated, but I just didn't like it, okay? It wasn't my cup of tea. But let me tell you guys, today, I'm rocking this proudly, okay? This is that Al Wasim from Swiss Arabian. I'm telling you, the bottle is very nice. The cap is a little cheap. I wish they would have went with the same color. Uh, the cap is the bottle. I think that would have looked better instead of this little clear uh, cap, which is kind of stupid looking. Other than that, the bottle is very nice. It's unique. It's kind of got like this Indie-ish background. Like if you've ever been in an Indian restaurant, they got some of those paintings sometimes and stuff like that. That's exactly what it reminds me of right here. But you guys, if you like the florals, okay? You like florals, slightly spicy, little bit of woodiness at the end, fresh, musky. This one is for you guys, okay? The projection is very lovely, okay? You're going to get at least an arm, maybe an arm's length worth of projection, okay? Performance, you're going to easily get six plus hours. If you spray this on clothes, you're definitely going to have to wash the clothes up a little bit to get rid of the smell. But man, you guys, you guys would definitely love this fragrance. There you guys go. Got all red on. Got this kind of red burgundy looking bottle in my car. Smelling good. Smelling floral. Smelling crisp. Smelling fresh to death. But man, I'm going to get up out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Yeah!